Another disheartening performance from Ten Hag and his squad. Eric Ten Hag himself is feeling the heat after the disappointing 1-0 defeat to Crystal Palace yesterday. United has had a rocky start to the season, losing 4 out of 7 games, which is our worst start ever. But before we start criticizing, let's consider the bigger picture. First, there's the takeover circus that's been a never-ending distraction. The Glazers, the club's owners, have been at the center of it all. It's been a year since they announced a review, but they want more money. Changing managers won't fix this issue, it's deeper than that. Then, there's the injury crisis. It's like an entire squad has taken turns being sidelined. Key signings like Rasmus Hodgland and Sofian Amrabat arrived injured. It's been a tough season, and injuries have hit hard. But perhaps the biggest challenge has been the off-field antics. From high-profile signings like Cristiano Ronaldo to controversies involving Mason Greenwood, Harry Maguire, and Jadon Sancho, it's been a roller coaster ride off the pitch. Ten Hag was brought in primarily as a coach, but he's had to deal with more off field matters than any manager should in their first year. It's a unique and challenging environment. But let's not forget, Ten Hag overperformed in his first season. He ended a trophy drought by lifting the Carabao Cup and guided United to a third place Premier League finish. His track record deserves patience. Yes, the current form isn't ideal, but Ten Hag has credit in the bank. He needs our support and patience. Let's stand by our manager and the team during these challenging times. Should Manchester United stick with Eric Ten Hag? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more football updates.